up, my dudes? It's Demi, and tonight we are dining over at Narcuzzi's at Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa for some dinner and Magic Kingdom fireworks viewing. This is a signature dining location, which means on the higher end of cost for dining in Walt Disney World. This is actually my first time here, so I am super excited to try out the food, see some beautiful Magic Kingdom fireworks, and ultimately, we can decide if this restaurant is worth that signature price. So let's get into it. Let's do Narcuzzi's over at the Grand Floridian and let's go get into some hygiene. So I am actually heading over to the Grand Floridian from the Magic Kingdom. It's super easy. You can take a monorail. I am taking the boat and that is because right off of the boat, that single building right there over the water is Narcuzzi. <laughs> little boat ride that takes us literally right outside our restaurant. The entrance is on the opposite side. Let's go inside. It is so beautiful in here and really well air conditioned on this very hot day. Narcuzzi recently went through a huge refurbishment, a brand new paint job, new countertops to give it a more coastal theme. The table is also very coastal looking and these look like the same glasses like they have over at Citricos, which is inside of the Grand Floridian. The walls go from light blue to dark blue to represent the depth of the ocean. On all the menus, they're going to have this strip right here that represents the shells in the ocean and it matches over at the bar, the bar countertop. Over the bar, you have all these brand new nautical items. You have a beautiful blue tile and it really just kind of brings it all together. We timed our reservation so that we can be here during Magic Kingdom's fireworks. So the seats by the window, you can request a seat by the window when you check in. You may have to wait or they may not be able to do it for you. Just, you know, be patient listen to the cast member, but I will tell you the majority of the tables are meant for four to six people. We're at a two-seater and we're all the way pushed back here, so we don't have the best view of the fireworks if we decide to sit at our table, but they do have this viewing balcony so we can go outside and watch it instead. Let's take a look at the cocktails. First, they have the Empress Lime Gimlet, which is a new take on an old classic, but they use Empress gin, which makes it all different and cool. I'm not a gin person though. They do have a cold brew martini. They have a very fun old fashioned. They are also known for their smoked, dark and stormy, where apparently this is the only place you can get it. They also have a couple of zero proof cocktails, the Agave Garden and the Pink London Spritzer, some beers, and for a non-alcoholic beverage, they have a strawberry cucumber spritzer, plus of course, uh, fountain sodas, iced tea, etc. They also have wine by the bottle or by the glass. My cocktail and our bread has arrived. Look how beautiful this loaf of bread is. It comes with some butter with some pink salt on top. And this is the Grand Margarita. It's Don Julio Tequila, Grand Menier Liquor, Contro Liqueur, Lime and Agave for $17.50. Cheers. This is so refreshing on this really hot day. I love that it's not crazy sweet. It doesn't taste like margarita mix. It's not margarita mix. It's all fresh ingredients and you can really taste the difference when it's fresh. It goes down super smooth. I love a really nice salt rim that they gave us. Mm, just great natural lime and agave flavors. So refreshing, excellent cocktail. Now let's try out this bread. This is the inside looks really good. Let's give it a try. Of course, spread on that salty butter. Let's give it a try. Mmm, that butter is so good. It is so smooth and that salt has so much amazing flavor to it. I never realized how different pink salt was. That is absolutely phenomenal. The bread is also very good. It's nice and crispy on the outside. You hear that crunch? Yeah and then it's nice and soft on the inside. Really, really yummy. Um, I always have to fight off not eating all of my bread and then you know, not eating any of my meal because anytime there's bread in a restaurant, I just fill up on bread and I take the food home, but we can't do that today. We can't do that. So I'm gonna take one more bite and then I'm gonna put the bread down 
I'm gonna fight myself not to eat the bread, but it's really, really good. Let's take a look at the menu now. For starters, we have a shrimp and grits, the brand new brisket and ricotta tortellini that was added when the restaurant reopened, the famous buttermilk fried calamari, which our server says the chef makes it perfect each time. We have a vegan sweet potato gnocchi, and the other new item is the ocean-inspired charcuterie board. They are also known for their lobster bisque here with real lobster, but it is so hot right now. That's <laughs> the last thing I want is soup. But they also have some salads. They have a romaine and hearts of palm and a blueberry and barrel aged feta salad. For entrees, they have an uzu ginger salmon, which our waiter says is phenomenal. They have some scallops and gnocchi, gulf shrimp, bucatini. They do have surf and turf, and they have a black and red fish, a prime New York strip steak, a dry aged pork ribeye chop, and for a vegan entree, they have a roasted vegetable paella. You can add on enhancements. They have the scallops, the lobster, and the shrimp. And by the way, the lobster is all pulled out of the shell already for you, all ready for you to eat. And then if you want to do any add-on sides, the entrees do come with sides, but if you want to add on any more, they have a loaded mashed potato, wild mushroom shrimp risotto, and a sweet and sour Brussels sprouts. We have a couple of starters to start off our meal. First up is the sweet potato gnocchi featuring kale, clamshell, mushroom, Homo Rosa tomato ragu, and this is vegan. And of course, we had to get the buttermilk fried calamari that's supposed to be perfect each time. Comes with the tomato coulis and the pickled garden mix. All right, let's try out this perfect calamari. It says it's supposed to be perfect every time. Let's give it a try. Oh, wow, yeah. That's good. I honestly thought that was going to be like super overhyped, but that's good. First of all, I always hate when calamari is like really like rough and you can't really eat it. That was super soft, super easy to eat, really lovely flavor. And then it is like eating like buttermilk fried chicken breading over it. And honestly, I'm like super impressed on how the breading is done on these really small items. It looks like they were all individually breaded, which is, I don't know if that's a thing, but the breading is really good. It literally feels like I, it's fried chicken breading with really good, really well cooked calamari. This is really, really good. And let's try out these pickled vegetables that come with it. Well, super, super tart, really, really pickled, but really good flavor, but it's very, very intense. If you are not into pickled food, you may not like this, but it's really good. It gives a little bit of a, of a heat or like a little tingle in the mouth afterwards. Really good. Overall, I, I'm honestly so impressed by this calamari dish. I really did not expect it to be this good. The sauce is also very, very tasty. Um, I really thought the waiter was overhyping it and I don't think he was. All right, let's try this sweet potato gnocchi, get some sauce on there. It looks beautiful. I love gnocchi. It's good. The flavor on that is fantastic. First of all, I've never had sweet potato gnocchi and I love that on its own, but they add a lot of really good flavor within that sauce. And there's like a small char that's on the gnocchi that really gives it some more texture and just a little extra flavor. This is really fantastic. And I love that it's also an excellent vegan dish because I always feel like my vegan friends don't always get the best options when it comes to, you know, the vegan option on the menu. But if you are vegan, even if you're not, I highly recommend this. I, I love the calamari and I think it's fantastic, but it's calamari and it's something that you can get places. It's an exceptionally fantastic calamari for sure, like probably the best one. But this gnocchi with this sauce is very, very unique. It's really interesting flavors, great textures, and well seasoned. Highly recommend. Okay, so I found out something about this calamari. It is gluten free because this is actually corn flour and not regular flour. And that's why it also sticks really, really well to the calamari itself. And it's just so crunchy. And this is such a genius idea and more people need to be doing this.
So it's getting dark and look what is outside that we have a great view of. It's the electric water pageant. This happens every night around the Magic Kingdom area resorts. There are these floats. They play music. We can't hear the music in here. Okay, I had to come outside to see it live. Entree has arrived. I decided to go with the Uzo Ginger Salmon. It's salmon with sambal white asparagus, coconut jade rice, and lemongrass Thai basil emulsion. Our server said it is all seasoned perfectly. It is one of their best items on the menu, and it smells really, really good and I'm super excited to try it. Let's open it up. Ooh, like butter. Oh, wow. It looks beautiful. I cannot wait to try this. That's really good. That is really, really good. There is such nice flavor on it, but what's so good about it in general is that the salmon is cooked perfectly. It's not too rare, which I hate, and it's not overcooked, which I also hate. It's perfect. It's juicy. There's this beautiful tang on it from the glaze. It's not under seasoned, it's not over seasoned. I think this is very, very tasty. There are parts where the glaze almost like got charred on the salmon. So it brings this really lovely texture. The ends are really nice and crispy and then the middle is just so perfectly soft and juicy. I am honestly really, really, really impressed with this. To be honest, I, I really did not think this restaurant was gonna be this this good. I thought it was just gonna be like pretty good signature, you know, standard Disney. This is very, very good. Let's try the jasmine rice. That is, oh my gosh, that is so good. Oh, you can really taste that coconut. It's cooked perfect. It's not, hold on. There's the sauce that's mixed in with the coconut flavor and it is so good. It's that basil and coconut together is a fantastic combination. I've never had anything like that. That is fantastic. I cannot believe that is so good. I need to make basil coconut rice at home because that's really good. I've never had that before. And let's try out these asparagus. I like that they're white, a little different. Mm. Nice char, nice and crispy, comes off like Nice bite, not stringy, perfectly cooked. I am so, so impressed by this meal. Well, it is almost that time. It's almost 9.20. That is when the fireworks are starting tonight. Just check the My Disney Experience app to see what time they're actually happening because they switched it over to 9.20 recently, but that is, you know, subject to change. But they do play the fireworks music in the restaurant and on the balcony as well. Uh, I would love to stay inside and watch it because it's air conditioned, but because of where we are sitting, even though we're on the water, it's not the best view. So I think we're gonna head outside and see some fireworks and see what the view is like out there. It's starting, it's starting, it's starting, it's starting. And this is actually my first time seeing Happily Ever After since it's been back. I'm so excited. Dream will lead us on a journey to discover who we're meant to be. All we have to do is look inside our hearts and unlock the magic within.
not crying. You're crying. I'm not crying. I'm not crying. Everything's totally fine. I'm not crying. So they dim the lights in the restaurant. A lot of people came outside. A lot of people still stayed inside. This restaurant's not very big, so honestly, like, even with if everybody was outside, like, there was a spot for everybody to watch fireworks out here too, which is really, really cool. Uh, I actually think the view is pretty good. We even got. Did you see, did you notice the little little green dot flying Tinkerbell? Is it better than the view at the Contemporary? Probably not, but you still are really close by. I don't think the video does it justice. You, I think. I feel much closer in person than when I see it in the video. Um, and I mean, it's just, it's just the best show. I love Happily Ever After. I used to be such like a, eh, it was okay, it's fine. But then like, I don't, I don't know. I, I love Happily Ever After. I think it's time to take a look at the dessert menu. First up, we have the almond crusted cheesecake, which they are famous for. Next is their only chocolate item. It's the hazelnut chocolate bar. It's hazelnut on top, caramel on the bottom with flavors of raspberry in the chocolate as well. They have a berry pavlova and then have a pineapple bavois, which is shortbread blackberry buttermilk ice cream with Kind of like it's kind of like a pineapple upside down cake, but a little bit different. And they have an artisanal cheese plate. They have some after dinner cocktails. We saw some of the, we actually saw all of these on the cocktail menu before. The cold brew martini, the tawny Manhattan, and the key lime martini. Our dessert has arrived. It did melt a little because I took too long doing other things, and I apologize. But this is the pineapple bavoir. Look how beautiful that is. You have all these little bubbles around it. Looks like hidden Mickey's. That is just absolutely stunning. And then here that's melted is the blackberry buttermilk ice cream. I, I don't even know how to eat this. This is so pretty. It feels like a crime to break it in half and eat it. Along with the dessert, we also got a dessert cocktail. This is the cold brew martini. It's Selvaray chocolate rum, Tia Marie liqueur, Joffrey's coffee cold brew. It smells really good and I love coffee cocktails. Cheers. Wow, that is strong. I'm not even sure if it's strong from the coffee or from the alcohol. I, I think it's just both. It's like super intense. Very dark flavors, which is funny because to me Joffrey's coffee is not very strong. It's, it has good flavor, but it's not very strong. This is strong, but it could be the, the liquor. But it smells amazing. It has a really interesting flavor. Lots of smokiness. You get that chocolate flavor. Very interesting and you, like different type of coffee cocktail I've had. Okay, here is the inside of the dessert. It looks so good. Let's give it a try. That is so good. The best part is that it's very soft, but then you get the pineapple and you get that texture and it's so great. There's beautiful flavors. It's almost like they put the berry with the pineapple and it's so tasty. It's super, super light too. Like I don't feel like, oof, I just had dessert. That is delicious. Let's try the blackberry ice cream that it, oh my God, is totally, totally melted. Mm. Really good flavor. Unfortunately, it is melted for me. But what can you do? <laughs> but really, really tasty. Let's mix it. Wow. Pineapple, blackberry together. That is fantastic. This is so good. Super unique. 100% recommend. And I just tried this. This is literally just like a pineapple sugar gummy. That's <laughs> so funny. And the little bubbles that look like hidden Mickey's are white chocolate. So good, we destroyed it. So here is the bill for everything. It was 135. This is before tip and my 10% annual pass holder discount. Honestly, I thought it was gonna be way more. I thought we ordered a lot of stuff. Um, I guess ordering one entree is definitely the way to go when you're trying to save because those are the most expensive. And honestly, like the, the, the starters were so big anyway and then the drinks were really, really good. 
So I'm super happy. I, you know, it is a signature restaurant, so it's obviously going to cost more than some of the other restaurants. But honestly, I've I've been to a few or many now signature restaurants, and I think that's like normal to even pretty good at pricing. Well, my dudes, that was Narcozzi's here at Disney's Grand Floridian Resort and Spa. I had a really great time. I honestly was so impressed with the food. I really did not have that high of an expectation. I've always heard mixed things about Narcozzi's, but I really liked it. I thought everything was well seasoned, well cooked, and just really like lovely options on the menu as well. The drinks were superb. I loved getting to see the electric water pageant. The location obviously cannot be beat. Super easy to get to from Magic Kingdom or from the TPC. Um, and obviously the fireworks viewing is fantastic. I love finding different places where you can watch the Magic Kingdom fireworks and not have to be in Magic Kingdom with all the crowds. Um, but I had a great time. I honestly, I very recommend going during fireworks. Um, you know, get a reservation during fireworks time, check the My Disney Experience app for when that will be, usually around 9 or 9.20, and I think you're gonna have yourself like a really just lovely night. So let me know in the comments, would you eat at Narcoozies? Have you eaten at Narcoozies before? What was your experience like? Have you been here since the reopening, which was in April 2023? Let me know in the comments below. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you did like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit your bell notification so you don't miss anything that goes on this channel. Follow me on Instagram, Magical Hijinks. Check out the Patreon. Become a patron and get exclusive bonus content, bonus lives, a free dining guide to Walt Disney World by Disney for Foodies, and so much more. And you'll be helping me to continue bringing you great content like these signature dining reviews to this channel. And until next time, my dudes, I hope you guys get to some hijinks very, very soon. Bye-bye.